Now at four, your community focus. Every other week, Rhode Island's Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green joins us here at four. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor sat down with her just this afternoon to address persistent disparities that were revealed in this year's Kids Count Fact Book. She also weighed in on the arrest of the Providence Network Superintendent of Secondary Schools. So, Commissioner, uh, the Kids Count Fact Book looked at thousands of transcripts that showed 14% of Rhode Island ninth graders were not college or career ready. But that number was 78% for black students and 76% for Latino students. What's your reaction to that? Well, we're not surprised. We have similar data that has shown us um, that this is the case. And we did our own um, data count last year with XQ with our own high schools and it showed the exact same thing. So we, we know, we know we have this problem. That's why the LEAP task force was so important to really pinpoint what our students need overall, but primarily what our black and Latino students need, our, our kids that are in poverty. So we're not surprised. Um, we, we, we've done the, the work around this. And what concrete steps are you taking to fix those disparities? Yeah, so um, first was the LEAP, LEAP Task Force, but we have a new office in our, um, in our, at RIDE that is really looking at districts that really need a lot of support. And this office is really looking at accountability and really supporting the districts to get to that level with the students. So it's the Office of Innovation. And I think that it's, we're gonna see some push and change and the new um, ESSA applications are very clear about what we need to do for those particular populations. So there's an expectation, there's accountability and expectation and that we meet the students where they are. Is there, is there accountability in terms of year benchmarks? Is there a specific time where parents can expect to see results? Yeah, so every district is gonna give us what their timeline looks like. We expect to see um, improvements every year and we hold districts accountable to that. That's why we have the STAR, we have other measures that we use, um, but we are, we are definitely on top of it. What was exciting for us is that the students that participated in the sale um, last summer where they were in classes with kids from different districts really were, it, it, the kids made such progress that that were behind actually made 100 point gains on the SAT, which is almost unheard of. So it talks about the expectation and the quality of the instruction that we're providing. And Commissioner, what's your reaction to Alege, a high ranking Providence School administrator, being arrested for an alleged assault against a minor? I'm so disgusted, I have to tell you, and disappointed. Um, I, I really don't have other words. I'm sick to my stomach. Any other, any other comment you'd like to make on, on that arrest? Well, I have asked for his resignation. I'm, you know, I'm a mother. I can't, I, you know, I just, this is not something that we will tolerate. Um, I'm just sickened by the whole thing. Sickened, disappointed, and I'm devastated. Commissioner, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you. We want to point out that since our conversation just this afternoon with Infante Green, Alege has resigned because of those assault charges. 